all right, coach, I'll just start with um, uh, kind of an easy question, but uh, what stuck out about the Pitt State job? And can you kind of walk me through the first time that PSU, you know, reached out to you, had contact with you and what the process was like from that until this week announcing that you had the head coaching job? Yeah. So, I mean, I learned about it in August um, that they were starting the program. And honestly, August is like crazy time uh, at the division level, like preseason twice training twice a week, trying to get to know the players, you know, just, it's a whirlwind. So I kind of like put it at the back of my head and, and then just went on coaching. And then Marcus, um, is a good friend of mine and he's, he's kind of his consultant and helping on the search and, um, and it's Marcus Kelter. Sorry, I should say his full name, but, um, he just was like, Hey, are you interested? And kind of gave me a little bit of the details. And I was like, well, let's do the interview. And so, um, drove up to Kansas city, met with, him the president dan ship and then the ad jim johnson um and it's it's always funny when i drive through claremore which is 44 to get um up to kansas city um i had a soccer player who kicked at pitt state um jared vincent i think he's got a couple records um four or five years ago i think he graduated and his dad and i always had a good relationship so i'm like hey his dad went there let's call him see what he says and he's like nothing but the best to say he's like i he goes i he goes, I'd move up there in a second. He's like, they support athletics. They support the school. Like the town is, is, is awesome. Like he goes, I would move there in a New York second. Um, just all great things to say. And then just meeting with Dan and, and Jim and just seeing their vision for the school and the vision for the athletic department, just great people to work for. And I think that's first and foremost, but like, it's a, it's a school that's well supported. I think that's a, that's a big deal. Cause I mean, honestly, this was, out of my nine years, this is probably the time that I was like, I'm not really looking for jobs. I like, I love where I'm at. Just had a fourth kid. We just bought a house five minutes from where uh, ORU is. So it's like, well, let's just go with this. And, um, and it just, every, everything that we looked at and, and talked about just were, were good. And, and I was like, a oh, great. And it was just like, man, this is a phenomenal opportunity. I think I told my wife, I was like, this is a no brainer uh, for me from a job aspect. I was like, I know there's more that goes into the decision, just the job. So I was like, let's take that out of the equation. Like, this is a great job. This is a great place. Like, and then it was like, do we want to move our family? Cause both of our families are in Tulsa. So that was kind of the, the last like part of the equation. So we went up, um, last weekend, just us two and two of the four kids and just kind of enjoyed Pittsburgh. And, um, I thought we we're going to eat at a cool restaurant. Um, but my son kept saying Brahms cause we saw Brahms. So we're like, all right, we'll go to Brahms. So that's just kind of how it went about. And, um, yeah, so we're excited, um, to, to, to get this challenge going and, and, and get it going. So there definitely are a lot of cool restaurants. You'll have the opportunity to try, um, what, uh, how unique of a situation was it too? And maybe this goes into what you were just saying, where it's a no brainer, where, not only are you coming in as a head coach, but you're coming in as the first head coach in program history. How different is it that you're really building this program from the start? Yeah, the first thing is I don't have to follow anybody. So I'm not following a legend or anything like that. So that's always the the fun part about it. It's, it, I mean, the, the, the reality is it's going to be a massive challenge because, you know, even my uh, club friends are like, oh, so how many players do you have? I'm like, zero. Like, reality like you're starting from scratch so but i think the uniqueness in being able to to tell a kid like you will be the actual foundation of a program is a is a cool thing like um i had a kid reach out that uh, i was recruiting at oru and she was like yeah my mom was the first uh in the first program of uno and like what a cool she was talking about how what a cool experience it was for her to be um and, and the inaugural team and and kind of lead that but i think it's just i mean it, it, again it's going to be a challenge but i also think it's a great opportunity and it's a unique sell like not how often do you get to go in and and help you know create the culture it's not change the culture it's create the culture um and leave a mark on a program that will be felt for years to come um and not that you can't do that at, in a program that's established but you're going to have more of an impact because it's the beginning and, and and that so I think that's the that's the coolest part about this situation is that you there's a there's a uniqueness to it and you know talking to like you're talking telling a player like hey you every position's wide open so an opportunity to play because I think that at the end of the day like the number one factor for people 
that want to choose a school or choose a program is like they want to play like they want to have an opportunity to play now there's other factors like education um the social aspect but playing time is part of it too and i think a lot of kids if they're if they're realistic with themselves like they want to go to a program play a lot of kids don't want to just go and not play so there's that uniqueness as well that you can you can come in right away and and compete so yeah that's i i I think it's awesome. I mean, it's just a, a very unique situation that um, not many people get to experience. So that's that was a, a big draw for sure. And now also that you, you know, we've gotten past the part where you're announcing you have the job, you you know, you have control of the program. Uh, assuming now the next step is filling that roster, you know, getting all those players. Uh, how's that going? Are you already, you know, hitting the recruiting trail right now? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I have to pass uh, one last test so I can go recruit um, off campus and evaluate. So we'll do that in about two or three hours, I think. So I have to pass that first, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, I was telling somebody earlier, earlier, it's not just recruiting players. Like I've got to get a staff. I've got to like, you know, I want to, I have a vision for the program. Now I got to put it on paper and like, how are we going to, and, and I don't want to do all that until I get the staff because I think that's important to share with the people you're about to coach with. Cause I think it's important. It's not just my vision. It's going to be our vision. Um, but yeah, I mean, w- recruiting part of it is, you know, we, ha- we had a small class at ORU 2024. So it just was going to be a small class. So I knew a lot of players in that age group that we just, I don't know say pass on. It was just, we didn't need more players. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been, I thought my phone was going to blow up on Monday or Tuesday just because congratulations, but also like, Hey, um, we've been waiting for the head coach to be hired, um, different things like that. Like, so just, it's been evaluating on video. It's been talking on the phone. It's been texting. It's just been anything and everything. So, I mean, it's just uh, going through that process, but the coaching staff part is just as important. I think that's the part is there's three or four different things that you've got to do at the same time. Um, And the coaching staff for me is you, you want to do it quickly but you want to make sure that's the right hire. I think that's the most important part. Cause like, you don't want to just go quickly just because you're like, I've got to have a coach to help me recruit and all that. Like you've got to make sure you make the right hire first. Um, and then if you can do it quickly, that's obviously the, the best part. So yeah. And just the move in the family and getting up there. So like I've already um, talked to a couple of kids about getting up on campus and I've got to learn camp. Like I've got to learn campus. I know it decently well being there a couple of times and I'll be a quick learner, but you know, like, or are you, I've been here for nine years. Like I could tell you every little detail of a brick, you know what I mean? Like it's so it's just that experience, like getting that part, but yeah, just hitting the ground running and just, just build it. And, um, you know, fishing a lot of ponds. I think that's the biggest part. Like it's, it's going to be, um, high school seniors transfer portal, Juco transfers. I mean, just, just anywhere and everywhere. Cause that's the hardest part. You don't want to bring in 26 freshmen. You want to kind of spread it out a little bit so that you can, um, you can you can get closer to where like in year two or year three now you're recruiting a normal type of year where you're like trying to bring in seven or eight um so yeah that's a great question i mean that's there's there's moving pieces on it's not just one not just recruiting it's not just finding coaches it's not just those things so and and the last part is just getting up to pit state we're going to talk about you know what's the process for building the new stadium um because that's an exciting part too so do you know, I, I'm sure that you have a lot of other, you know, things on your mind, but do you know what the process, what the timeline looks like with that stadium too? Like when it'll be there and you can bring the possible future players there? Yeah, we haven't. I mean, the goal is to have the turf fields obviously done for the August season to start. We, I haven't, we haven't sat down in depth. I mean, there's, they've got drawings and that's the number one goal is to get that part because obviously you gotta be able to play games. Um, so we haven't got to like, hey, it's going to start January 1st and then March 1st, we'll be able to show kids like that'll be something as I get up there more to Pittsburgh, like we'll have those conversations. So and that's going to be exciting because I get to be a part of like, how big do we want the field to be? Like, do we want to like super wide? And, it, and some of those things will be within restrictions of the NCAA. But and then I, my guess is by year two, the stadium part will be built with the locker rooms um the film room bathroom showers like all those things so um we've just been we talked about the interview process a little bit but I mean it's kind of one of those things that we'll we'll get going here soon and um it's exciting I mean that's the cool part too it's like it's not like hey we've got a soccer field over here we're just gonna put some lines on it some flags on it that'll be your soccer field it's we're gonna 
we're going to do this first class. I think that's the biggest thing is everything at Pitt State has been first class all around. I mean, the indoor track is one of the best in the country and it's got a football field in the middle like that we can, we can train on and use as well. So it's no concern there. Just, we were just super excited to see, you know, the timeline. So. Yeah. And uh, kind of building off that too. One of the things that uh, Jim Johnson said, when, just when they announced that the program was coming was uh, that they're going to do this the right way. And they want to, you know, build a winner here too with soccer. Uh, I, I, I guess my question just is how much do you know about Pitt state athletics and kind of the culture surrounding how much success that they've had there? Yeah, that's, I mean, it, it's, I, I'm not going to say that I've known it forever. I, I think my biggest connector was Jared Vincent um, just because I, I knew Pitt state, but I mean, I played division two soccer. I mean, I'm from, the Tulsa area, but I played division two soccer in South Carolina. So I was like, and went in the same conference and different things like that. So, but I mean, you just do research on the history, like indoor track has a couple of national championships. I think football has like six between their NAI days and division two. And you, I mean, cross country just won both championships again. And I, and they do want to build a winner. Like that's important, but I think it's more of the pursuit of excellence that like I continue to see in, in the school and and I know that there's projects um, for the school that like uh, are are in the works that they're fundraising for and they're making like and it's just pursuit of excellence in everything that Pitts for Pitt State does. Um, so I mean I know some of the history I don't know all of it. Um, again, Jared Vincent's the dad Jay has been sharing. He's like Dennis French. He only coached. Here. I was like what really? I was like so. And I'm like, that's crazy. That's awesome. So, and as I've been become the coach, like my wife's even like, yeah. So my friend's uh, nephew uh, played football there and they were also like, it's just, it's kind of, it, there's a big connector. It's um, it's funny. It's like when you buy a red truck, you're like, oh, there's so many red trucks out there. And like, even the other day I was trying to think, oh, there's a Pitt State um, advertisement for enrollment. And so you're starting to hear those stories and um, even another soccer person in the world said Phil Barkley, Jack Barkley. I think he's a linebacker for the mm -hmm. Pitt state um, gorillas on the football team. So he even reached out to me. He's like, Hey, what do you need? Like, um, and he was just, you know, sharing how awesome it was. It's just, you get those connecting stories um, all over the place. And it's, and you just feel it when you walk around, like when I was walking around the athletic department, um, looking at the basketball arena, looking at the indoor, um, looking at the baseball stuff, you just see it. I mean, it's, you and you feel it like when you talk to people like it's not I mean it's just you you feel the excellence and so that's that's the the part you just get a little bit of the feel but you also see it too so that's that's kind of like I, and I'm excited to learn more about the history and um, it, obviously when we move to Pittsburgh it'll make it a little bit easier because I get to be around it a lot more so mm -hmm. do you know when you guys are going to move to Pittsburgh so it's, it's a big question so um yeah, we have, we got to sell some house. We got to sell the house. And um, that's the, the nice part for us is that we don't have to move like immediately just because we don't have kids on campus and we're not training, we're not playing. Um, but we'll try to get there as quickly as possible. I mean, the biggest thing is I want to take care of the family and um, we, we haven't even told the kids now they're all under five years old. So like oh, we'll, okay. we'll tell them at some point. So, um, but it's, um it's one of those things we're trying to figure out what's best for the family. And if I've got to drive up for a little while, that's fair enough. But I mean, the beginning, the biggest thing I'm going to be doing is recruiting. So being in Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma city will be a big area for me because that's where a lot of my pumpkin patches are. So, um, so yeah, it, as quickly as possible, but we also want to make sure we're getting the right house, um, in the right area. Um, just because we've got a, we've got a big family, four kids. Um, so we, we we'll be up there soon enough. So Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this will come to light a little bit more once you get you fill that staff and you bring in some players. But uh, what should Gorilla fans be excited about with a program that you're leading? Did, I mean, what are some principles that you know already that you're going to be building this program on? Yeah, just I mean, high energy. Like, like I want to bring in high energy kids that are that are going to get in and just grind and work hard. I mean, that's that's the basis. Like, yeah, do we need to get talented kids? One hundred percent, but they've got to fit the high motor, high energy, um, get in the weight. Like when we're talking about the weight room, I want those kids to be like, I want the strength coaches to be like, they're awesome. Like that's the best, that's the best team, um, in the weight room. Um, just, I think that's the most important part. I think, I feel like that's in the short time. I feel like that's the culture, but that's also like who I am. I think that's the biggest thing is like, you want to build a program that like represents, who, who you are and what you want to represent. So I think that's the most important part and just selfless, 
just selfless. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a soccer team. Like it's a unit. I mean, you, you have to sacrifice to, to be great. Like you've got to give something up to be great. And I think that's, I, I mean, just human nature, that's one of the hardest things to do in the world. Like we're, we're, we're born to be selfish. Like, like that's, that's, that's our nature. So trying to break that and, you know, do something for somebody else. I think that's the most important uh, thing you can embody. So that's, and then we're going to be excellent on the field, off the field in the community. Like I, that's the part I'm excited about is like getting to the elementary schools and reading to them and doing a soccer clinic and all those, like those things, I think those are important because at the end of the day, I want a uh, recruit to, go through the process, be a freshman. And then when they leave their senior year, like they are a better person. So they become a better mom someday or better wife or a better sister, whatever role they're going to play. I want them to become the best they possibly can be. So definitely just a growth mindset um, to be excellent. So, um, so yeah, I think that's, that's the biggest part. And, you know, the, the soccer piece, like people even are concerned, like what formation, what type, like my guys, we're going to get people that fit, what we're going to do and what Pitt state's about. And then we'll, we'll sort that part out. I think that's the, the easier part, but just getting great people um, that are competitive and want to be the best. That's, I, I would say that's the biggest thing. So I'm excited to, to get in guerrilla nation and figure out how to get the fans interactive for the, for the home games and kind of use that as a home field advantage. And the the last part is I'm a Sigma Chi. So I, I was like, there's a Sigma Chi house on campus. So I'm like, Sigma Chi guys, I'm going to be coming by. Uh, so you guys might be our first fans. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. I think that's just, I want to, I want to, I want it to be Pittsburgh's team. I mean, and I think that's, that's what you feel with volleyball and you feel basketball and you feel football and, and the indoors, like the track and the cross country program is like, it's, it's Pittsburgh's team. I think that's the important part. Mm -hmm. All right. Great coach. Uh, anything that I didn't ask that you wanted to mention? No, just I, our family's super excited for this opportunity and um, we're ready to get after it. So um, I appreciate you taking the time to to talk with me. I, I think that's an important time is precious and I appreciate that for sure. So.